going on? Do we have uh, Carissa Pavlika? Why do we not? Hello. Have... Hello, Carissa. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? You are the managing editor at TVFanatic.com. Good morning, Carissa. Good morning, McGraw. Let's get right to it. First of all, can we talk about uh, Feud, Betty, and Joan? Have you seen it last night? Have you seen uh, the previews? What are your thoughts? I did watch it last night. and well, Actually, I didn't watch it last night. I watched it a couple days ago in the hope that I was going to watch more so I could talk about it a little bit more in depth with you. Yes. But then I got so into the whole premise that I kind of got wrapped up in <laughs> Betty and Joan instead. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. Um, I didn't see it last night, but I heard it's on FX, which is basic cable. I, he I heard they were dropping F-bombs all over the place. Well, they didn't just drop that. What else did they drop? The C-word. No. What? Really? Yeah. On, yeah, on, they did. On basic cable? They did. They did. They, they dropped it on basic cable, which isn't even all. They, they don't even drop that on Cable, like uh, pay cable. Right, on HBO. Yeah, no. <laughs> wow. They don't drop that anywhere. And they did an interview afterwards that talked about the why and the character that said it. Um, it's a slight spoiler here. It's a Jack Warner. But his relationship was just such with Betty Davis because of the way that she brought down the contract system and his animosity towards her, his own feud with Betty Davis. He was so angry at the thought that, oh, my gosh, I'm going to have to work again with Betty Davis. <laughs> and he just went off on the fact that it was nuts. And it, it fit. You know, I didn't even think about it when he was saying it. But when they brought it up afterwards, I thought, oh, my God, that did happen. Yeah. Wow. Um, but it felt, it felt so natural to the conversation because you could just imagine him. It seemed obvious that he would want to call her that, hmm. of all people. Plot thickens. All right. What else you got? The Americans. The Americans returned this week. Uh, of uh, Carrie Russell is married to that guy, right? Yeah, she is. And it's excellent. It's an excellent, excellent show. And this season, they are really beefing up the whole USSR presence. Not only are they talking about it, but we're going back there. So, And back there is to be taken with a grain of salt. So don't everybody get your hopes up thinking <laughs> that the family's moving to the USSR. Um, that may or may not happen, but I'm not giving anything away. I've only seen – I ha this is another one of these I have to start watching again, and I know people who watch it love it. This is Russian spies, double agents in America in, in the 1980s, right? Yes, yes. And what, what's amazing is I was on a conference call with the showrunners on my way to New York as I was blowing by the – Three Mile Island, which was a big, which was a plot point last season. So I was like, oh. You were, you, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on a second. You were driving past Three Mile Island? I was on a train. Oh, okay. And, uh, all right. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. Somewhere in Pennsylvania, and you saw Three Mile Island. All right. There's a story yeah. in, in and of itself, but anyway. <laughs> also, I got to go to an NBC cocktail party this week. Yes. And. Who got to meet Justin Hartley and Susan Kalichi from This Is Us? Who are they? Which ones are they? Kevin and Beth. Oh, snap. Um, what did they tell you? Well, you know, I didn't really get any spoilers yes. other than the fact that this coming episode is going to be... Apparently, it changes the tone of what's coming next. I mean, I don't know how much more we can possibly change the tone of what's, of what's coming. But both of them were absolutely lovely people. Well, um, uh, uh, Milo Ventimiglia was there, but he was in a corner with people just surrounding him like bees. He's the dad. So, like, he's I, the dad, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was uh, Sterling K. Brown there, St. Louis and Sterling K. Brown? He wasn't, and I would have had to beat people down with some sticks <laughs> to get to him. <laughs> there's, only, there's only two more episodes left for the season. Is that right? Is that possible? That is right. That is right. Yeah, one of them is tomorrow night. So and tomorrow night's supposed to be a big one. And, and apparently between tomorrow and next week, we're going to be 
on a roller coaster. Uh, all right. I have a question about – are you finished? Or do you have anything else? I always have stuff. But, uh, you know, I can wait. All I right. can wait. All right. Fair enough. i got to ask you about uh, Big Little Lies or Dirty Little Secrets. What's that one on HBO with – Little lies. Big, big little lies. So I watched it last night, and spoiler alert, I apologize, but um, so the girl who was in the Divergent series, um, what's her name? Um, Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley. So this is the one where she reveals at the end that she was um, either uh, beaten up or raped or something along those lines, and then she was raped. She was raped, and then they show the person she was raped by. Is that the husband of Nicole Kidman? Well, I kind of considered that as well, right. although that's not what they said. Okay. But what drew me to that conclusion was because they, and what also drew me to the conclusion that he's the dead guy. Oh. Is because did you notice that when... When Celeste screamed at Perry, which is Nicole Kidman's husband, that's Nicole Kidman screamed right. at her husband that she would leave him if he ever touched her again. Right. They did a five-second briefing about the dead body with all the bruises on it. Uh-huh. And then they immediately cut to Jane, which is Shailene Woodley, and her predicament with her son and her mm-hmm. and her story, mm-hmm. and that's just a little too convenient for a story to a storytelling purpose right. to have to not have meaning. And okay. they showed his shoe, which was a very you know the the rapist's shoe, which was a very nice shoe, which kind of connected with Perry's shoe. So you know, yeah. Uh huh. Interesting. I, I think you're on to something there, McGraw. Uh, Carissa Pavlico, that's 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 the the, uh, the type of insight we have come to expect from the managing editor of TVFanatic.com. Uh, have a good week. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you next Monday. Sounds good. You got it. Eight twenty-seven. Big five fifty. KTRS. Let me.